This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, why are the split options grayed out with my model? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a polysphere here loaded in. And the question is asking about the split option. So these options live in the tool palette, subtool, and then the split area right here. So as you can see with this polysphere object, these split options are all enabled. So I could come through and click on these buttons here to perform these processes. However, if I scroll up to the top here to the tool palette, and now let's say I select the cylinder object, you'll see with the cylinder object selected, all the split options are disabled. And then if I say go to the tool palette again and select say a goldfish from the Zizu, you'll also see that these split options are disabled as well. So why is this happening? So in order for the split options to be enabled, your mesh must be a polymesh 3D object. So primitive objects like the cylinder 3D mesh here, or even Z-sphere objects are not polymesh 3D objects. So these meshes will not have those split options enabled. So in order to enable the split options on these models, we first must convert them to polymesh 3D objects. So if you have a primitive like the cylinder here, to do this process, you can just go to the tool palette and then click Make Polymesh 3D. And this will now convert your model from that primitive state to a polymesh object. And as you can see with this cylinder here, as soon as I converted it, the split options are now enabled. For the mannequin or the Z-sphere models, like this goldfish here, in order to convert these to a polymesh 3D object, we just need to scroll down to the bottom here to the adaptive skin area. And then at the bottom, there is a Make Adaptive Skin. And this will take the goldfish model here and convert it to an adaptive skin. And then if we scroll back up to the top here, we should have a new tool created with the prefix skin. And then now you'll see in the subtool area, split, those options will be enabled. So as a quick recap, if the split options are not enabled on your model, make sure that your mesh is a polymesh 3D object. So if you're using primitives such as the cylinder 3D or meshes like the mannequin or Z-sphere model of this goldfish, these options in the split menu will not be enabled. So just convert them to polymesh 3D objects and then you'll be able to use the split functionality. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.